Hi guys, SneakyJoyce here and today we are going to review this XFX RX460 2GB version. You may ask me, Joe, but why do we need this small video card? Well, first of all, you can build a console-sized PC and move it to your uh, guest room. But even more, you can use this video card not only for playing games, but uh, also for streaming your gameplay into the internet or recording it, because it has the latest version of VCA, video codec engine at the moment. Now let's take a look at the packaging. It is very minimalistic. There is not too much text on this box. And inside of this box you can find a very few items. A driver disk with a warning that you should download drivers yourself if you can, installation guide and the video card itself. The video card has very small size and will almost not take space in your system. It also doesn't require additional power. It features DVI, HDMI and DisplayPort outputs. Now let's see how this video card performs in tests and games. Unigen Heaven gives us 29 FPS on average on ultra settings 1080p, which is quite impressive for a video card without additional power. Maxed out Unigen Valley gives us 27 FPS on average on Full HD. It is a bit worse, but still considerably good. Now let's move on to Dota 2, the main time killer of mine. On maximal graphics settings it gives us from 70 up to 80 FPS. Frankly speaking I was shocked by this result and really impressed again. It shows us that you can actually competitive play on this video card without any issues. And now let's see one of the most hard games for a video card, Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. As you can see in main menu I am using almost always ultra or high settings. And those give us 24 FPS. Not that good, but you can still try and tune them down to make the game playable. And one of the best things about this video card is that you can barely hear it. It doesn't go above 55 degrees Celsius in heavy games and its fan is completely silent if you are not playing. For me it sounds super awesome. And now let's see if you want to buy this video card. It can be a good base for your living room PC, which will get uh, the translation from your main gaming PC for you to be able to play on the big screen. It also can record video in very good quality, leaving your main video card without any job on this side, thus giving you a few extra FPS. But unfortunately, with the VCE 3.4 it cannot stream in as good quality as VCE 3.0 could. It will be so until Xamar will fix his VCE 3.4 implementation, and uh, even if he does, you still won't be able to stream with this video card to Twitch in ultra quality. But it is still a good buy in my opinion. I guess it's everything I wanted to tell you today. My name is Nicky Joe, and if you like this video, please perform YouTube routine. Have a nice day.